Hi everybody, it's Michael here, uh, and I am very excited to be uh, to be making this video today. Uh, I'm actually not going to be talking about uh, the Maker Farm 8-inch Prusa i3, which is uh, normally what my videos are about. Uh, today I've got something that I've been really excited about for almost a month, and it just came together yesterday. I got all the parts together, uh, and, I, and I haven't even had a chance to install this yet, uh, but I wanted to get you guys a video to let you know what I've been working on and what I'm really excited about. Uh, what this guy is right here... Uh, this is the uh, Aluhotan V4 uh, that's made by uh, 3D Industries in Australia. If you go to their uh, website, they will, they will sell one to you. Uh, this is uh, not actually an all-metal hot end, even though it looks a lot like the Magma. Uh, this is what I would call a mostly metal hot end. Uh, it does have a, a Teflon sleeve here right at the top. And uh, if, you, if, it, if you think that it does look quite a bit like a magma, there's a very good reason for that. Uh, the magma, as it turns out, is actually a, um, a derivative of an earlier version of this design. So they share a common grandparent, which I guess makes them first cousins. And as you can see here, once I slide the heatsink off, there is just that little tiny bit of, uh, of Teflon right there. So there is a liner, so there is a little bit of a restriction about how much temperature you can run through this guy. Uh, but the trade-off is... Uh, you can probably print PLA without too much trouble. If you uh, watched my video review of the Magma, you know that was one of the, the really big problems, what ultimately turned out to be the deal breaker for me and why I am not running that particular hot end right now. So the Mag, or, sorry, the, uh, the Alu Hot End V4 to me uh, seems to really combine a lot of the things I like about the J head. It addresses a lot of the concerns that I have about the J head and it includes a lot of the design features that I really liked about the Magma. Uh, this comes in both uh, three millimeter and 1.75 millimeter uh, filament sizes, and it does come standard with a 0.3 millimeter nozzle. So it's going to be a really high resolution hot end, and I'm looking forward to that. Uh, this uh, this little guy right here does come from the uh, directly from the factory. Uh, shipped right now for $38 uh, Australian, which uh, for those of you in the U.S., as of yesterday, that was just about $35, bucks, and that is not bad at all uh, for shipping. Uh, however, when you do order it for $35 U.S. or so, uh, 38 Australian with shipping, this right here is all you get in the package, and that's something that I felt uh, was, was really important to let you guys know um, before you jump into this, that you are going to have to source some parts from other, other places. Now, uh, 3D Industries does have the, uh, they do have a thermistor that they can include in that. That's, uh, that's also on their website. But the rest of this stuff uh, that I have uh, arrayed here, they, they don't have. And I want to just go over some of that real quick and, uh, and, and talk a little bit about, about what you're going to need to get. Uh, the first mistake that I made was I went with uh, what I call Thermistor 1 right here, which is the good old standard Epcos 100K that uh, just about everybody has or has used. I have one of these on my J head and there's another one on my heated bed. Uh, I have just labeled this Thermistor 1 uh, because it is the it is Thermistor number one in the standard Marlin Thermistor tables. It's also Thermistor number six, um, just using a different table. Now the this is what I got first and what I did find out was that it just won't fit in this in the hole in the uh, for the thermistor in the Alu Hot End version four. Now that's actually okay because Epcos has actually discontinued uh, this thermistor, so the the supply that's out there is pretty much all that's going to be out there. Uh, so it's probably fine that the uh, RepRap community is moving away from that. And what we're moving toward instead is uh, this one right here, which I call thermistor number five because in the Marlin tables it is number five. Uh, and this is the uh, this is made by Semitech uh, Thermistors, and it's the um, the model number that ends in 104 GT2. And you can get these from Mauser Electronics, which is what I did. I got a few of them because they have a flat shipping rate, and I can't I can never do that. So I always have to buy enough of them to where I either I get a price break or the uh, shipping starts to make sense. In any case, if you get Thermistor number five, which is the 104 GT, that has the smaller bead, and I've already prepared one here. Uh, with the uh, Teflon sleeving that you're going to want to use. If you've, ever, if you've never built a hot end before, you do have to keep those wires insulated from each other. And as you can see, this fits very nicely into that hole right there. Okay, so the thermistor part is taken care of. Uh, as I mentioned also, uh, if you don't have some of this stuff around, I highly recommend... Um, this is just uh, Teflon sleeving. I got this from McMaster Car. And this is what goes around those wires and keeps them insulated from each other. And uh, and this is high temperature stuff, and it's real good. Uh, I'm gonna have a uh, uh, I'm gonna 
put a link to a blog post in the um, in the notes for this video, so you can uh, I, I'll go ahead and put in the sources for everything that I that I'm using right here. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is a uh, heater cartridge or a heating resistor. I'm using a cartridge right here. This is your standard uh, 12 volt, 40 watt um, heater cartridge. Now, one thing that I want to take a minute and talk about here. Uh, I know I had this problem with the magma and a lot of other people I know did too, where this hole right here, where you're going to put your heating element, uh, was was milled pretty tight. And these uh, cartridge heaters right here really don't have a whole lot of consistency. Some of them are a lot bigger than others because it's just not something that at the manufacturer is considered a precision part. Uh, so I was really excited when I saw this little grub screw right here. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, slide this in and see how easily this goes in and sure enough it goes it just it's like butter it just slides right in there and then i'm just going to grab my two millimeter um uh, i make actually make that my two millimeter and not my two and a half and i'm just going to give that about about a quarter turn is all that took and and that's mounted so that's done and then i'll just uh uh take my thermistor and then use a little bit of capped on tape to keep that right in that opening right there which you know is really close to where the um um, uh, where the nozzle is. So that's that looks like it's in a good position. And then finally, now if you have the magma hot end on your um, Maker Farm uh, Prusa i3 right now, then this doesn't apply to you. Uh, but let me show you one of the J heads. This is if you ever saw my melt the J head video. This is uh, this is what this is. Whoops. And if you look at where the mounting uh, the mountings go, you'll see that the J head from Maker Farm actually has a slightly larger, it takes a slightly larger mounting plate. In fact, it takes a six millimeter plate, which is the uh, the laser cut plywood part that Maker Farm supplies, uh, but that's not standard. What is standard is something like from hotends.com right here, which is a four and a half millimeter uh, mounting plate, and that's gonna just slide right in like so. And then you've got your, uh, you've got your hot end built. Now, okay, so there are a couple other things you need to source. Uh, as I mentioned, the um, uh, the hot end itself, the Alu Hot End V4, uh, is sold for about well, about thirty five dollars US. It is exactly thirty eight Australian, uh, including shipping. Uh, you can find a heater cartridge for probably between five and eight dollars, and it's probably going to include your shipping. Or you can do like I did and buy a package of twenty from Hong Kong for, or a package of ten for twenty dollars, something like that. The uh, thermistor is probably going to run you about four or five dollars, and the mounting plate uh, from HotEnds.com is going to be um, uh, about seven twenty-five, I think, and then it's going to be another seven seventy-five flat rate shipping. So really, altogether, what you're looking at in U.S. dollars is about thirty-five for the um, uh, for the hot end itself, about another five to eight, so we're up to around forty to forty-three with the uh, um, with the heater cartridge and probably another five bucks for a, a thermistor with the sleeving and then uh, another uh, probably 15 bucks including shipping for the uh, for the mounting plate so really we're not all that far off from what you'd expect to pay for a J head and certainly you know the the magma hot end uh, kits that I've seen I know maker farm has them for about 85 um, a Prusa hot end is is about 110 if you can find one and J heads tend to be around the mid 50 so this is actually right about in the right range um, you know, by the time you factor in what all the costs are. So this is not an expensive hot end at all. Uh, I am also really impressed that if, uh, you know, as I had mentioned before, this right here, when I had my J-head disaster, I, there's, I'm not going to mess around with buying a new nozzle and playing with the peak and looking for where the linings are and trying to salvage this, uh, this block. I might later, but right now I'm not going to do that. Uh, I like that this is a mostly metal hot end. I'm really not concerned with anything except that little liner melting. And if I do decide that after, if I do melt it and decide that I just don't want to deal with, with trying to pull the Teflon out of the, out of the nozzle, uh, 3D Industries will sell you just the nozzle part, just this M6 threaded, uh, tube right here with the liner for $12, um, Australian. So that's probably going to be about 10 or 11 bucks US, which to me seems like a very, very inexpensive way to replace what about the only disastrous failure I can think of that this hot end could possibly could possibly see. So um, unfortunately, I, I don't have the time to 
put this in tonight and get uh, some good printing data. But that is uh, absolutely what I'm going to be doing here in the next couple of days. Uh, so hopefully by this time next week I'll have a video where I will be able to show you how this thing actually performs in the printer. But right now uh, I'm very excited about the Aluhot NV4. I think this has a, like I said, a very nice combination of features that really drew me to the Magma, uh, which turned out to be a disappointment, and also things that I really like uh, about the J-Hat and addressing some of the concerns that I do have about that. So uh, I will certainly let you know. Uh, as I mentioned, there is going to be a blog post with all the with posts to all the part numbers and all the information for all of this stuff here. Uh, so once again, thank you very much for watching. Happy printing. And uh, as they say, like, comment, subscribe. I love hearing from you guys. Love interacting with you. So uh, thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you next time.